All right, everybody, welcome back. I am just departing the pattern here. Actually, not departing the pattern, but on the departure lake. And I'm gonna be showing you guys a power off 180 approach to a spot landing, all right? So this is emulating a, an engine out and your ability to land the aircraft at a point of your choosing. This is something you do on the commercial level. And it's actually a very good way to get to know your airplane. Well, traffic D3 in a forum is right across on the downland runway for Homer. Because you get to feel the energy of the airplane. So if you want to know what your airplane's capable of, just take it up for some power off 180 landings and you'll get a feel for it, okay? I want to stay in a little bit tighter. Again, this is why you don't do cross-country patterns, all right? You stay closer to the airport. Fire 8676 at FedEx Caravan. I'm six miles out to the north and uh, descending to uh, 2,700 now. Descending into the traffic pattern. I'm handling on a right downwind behind the Cessna. Okay, just getting everything set up here. So, anyone can do a really large pattern and take plenty of time and come in, but it's not practical, you know, it's not practical in the real world. You need to learn how to manage the energy of your airplane. If you're flying in the shorter strips, you're gonna have to learn to do that, okay? And especially, you know, if we had an issue, say we got carburetor ice, we can land on that runway. If I'm another mile that way, it's very unlikely, okay? So, I'm gonna pull the power to idle, simulating that engine out, a beam my touchdown point, it's gonna be the touchdown markers, and I'm gonna to touch down the airplane in that area and talk you through what I'm thinking about as I'm going through this, okay? It's all about energy management. We make decisions on where we're heading, when to add the flaps, all those things, and that's how it works. Uh, I think it's even great to do these at the private pilot level, okay? So we're about there, we're all set up. Car heat, gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop seatbelt switches, okay? All good. Undercarriage is down a lot, okay? All right, so here's our touchdown point. Power idle, pitch for your best glide, which is 80. For traffic, two, three, and a four, simulated uh, power off runway four, short of both. And a 172 glides really well, all right? So look how lazy this pattern is right now. Look how far out I'm coming in, how far out I am, all right? I'm gonna start turning in now. Better be a little higher than to be too low. You can't add any power. And two, three, and a four. I'm on a modified base, the final runway four, Homer. I'm going to add that in a little high. Hotel, Homer Radio, digital traffic is a caravan inbound. Uh, they I'm going to add my last notch flaps too. About four minutes ago. I'm pretty high. Yeah, that caravan now is entry on the uh, right now when we're landing four. Simulated uh, power out on the uh, short final. And here I am, I'm just totally power idle, still have my hand on the throttle though. I'm gonna slip it just a little bit to get down. Won't have to do it for long. Okay, just enough to get me to that touchdown point. And we're coming in the ground effect. Need a little bit more help, a little bit more energy, and there we go. Touchdown right in the zone. And we are all set up, okay? So that is a power off approach to landing on a spot, power off 180. Homer traffic, two, three, and a four, on the go, runway four, Homer. And I'll just stay in the pattern, okay? A little bit of aileron into the wind. A little bit of right rudder pressure to stay on center line. Okay, that's how you'd clean up for a, a go, or a, a touch and go, a go around. That's more of a stop and go. But just make sure everything's good to go before you take off, okay? Usually I like my students to finish what they're doing before they take off. Again, I don't want them to think about the next takeoff before they finish the last landing. Pattern, a single landing, she's on the upwind, caravan, inbound for landing. I believe he's either on downwind or base for runway four. And additional traffic is a Cessna inbound, 60 foot rock about one minute ago. Good night, Gabby. Yeah, it's a Cessna caravan there, the FedEx caravan. And turn it final four. All right, guys, a little bit of radio chatter there, but that is it for this video. 
I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed all these takeoff and landing videos. Make sure to share with your friends. Uh, comment, subscribe, like, and really appreciate you being here, especially you students of mine. Okay, until next time, throttle on. We're traffic two, three, and four, right cross lane to runway four, staying in the pattern. Fly on over to aviatortraining.com for online ground school, podcasts, videos, and more to become or grow as an aviator.